Hi everyone. And this is first question. Zaheer Khan has taken 5 wicket hauls in his last 15 matches. His match record are selected at random one by one and analyzed. If none of the match record is analyzed more than once, then what is the probability that the 11th one analyzed is his 5 wicket haul match? So basically here n number of matches total matches is 15 which are being analyzed right 15 matches are being analyzed so and uh, the total number of matches he had played which in which he got five wicket hauls were four so first of all what we will see is that In, we need to find the probability that the 11th match which are being analyzed out of 15 will be his last 5 wicket haul right so before 11th one let us assume that 3 5 wicket haul matches were already analyzed in last 10 matches right then only we can get 11th one in his last five wicket hold match isn't that right so in last 10 matches three five three five wicket holes were already analyzed Right. So, what is the probability that we can get three five wicket hauls in ten matches? This would be actually four c three number of ways of getting three matches out of four into leftover matches, which would be four minus fifteen eleven c7 right see there are total of 15 uh, matches 11 plus 4 will be 15 and total analyzed are 7 so basically this is the pro this is the combination of 5 wicket hall matches this is the combination of non 5 wicket hall matches and out of last 10 matches Three were five wicket haul matches which were already been analyzed and seven of the matches were uh, matches where there were no five wicket hauls right so this divided by total number of matches which would be 15 c 10 right because we are getting for 10 matches right now this is the combination basically the probability of getting three five wicket hauls in last 10 matches this is the probability of getting three five wicket hauls in last 10 matches i hope you are clear with this now we need to find the probability that 11th one is last match basically uh, when we get that we are left with one five wicket haul match and five more pairs right basically we are already analyzed 10 matches right I already told you guys that we have analyzed 10 matches and out of that there were three five wicket hauls and out of left over five matches there is a single five wicket haul so we need to find the probability for that so basically it is 1 by 5 right am i right yeah so this would be 1 by 5 so d option is correct thank you now next question the question is 
there are two shops a and b selling t-shirts in the market shop a has a stock n red t-shirts and two black t-shirts so let us write it here that a shop let me use another pen mm. yeah so shop a has n red and two black t-shirts right shop b has two red and n black t-shirts right so basically a shop is selected at random so what is the probability that we get a shop or b shop a person wants to buy a t-shirt what is the probability that he will go to a shop and b shop we don't know how many he doesn't know that this shop has this much stock available and this much stock available he will just randomly go so the probability of getting a will be equal to probability of getting b which would be 1 by 2 right and right so f- this is first and second would be a probability of getting a red t-shirt so in shop a the probability of getting red t-shirt would be he bought two red t-shirt right so n c2 would be the combination of getting two red t-shirts out of n divided by total number of t-shirts would be n plus 2 by uh, n plus 2 combination of 2 right total number of t-shirt at shop a is n plus 2 and total number of t-shirts at shop b is also n plus 2 so nc2 upon this right these are this is total combination and this is the combination of red t-shirts in shop b this would be actually equal to 2 upon n plus 2 c2 right because there are two red t-shirts divided by n plus 2 by n plus 2 to c2 right so now we we are given that probability of getting red t-shirt is actually 6 by 7 so we already know that t-shirt purchased are red and it was purchased from shop a right so this is a conditional probability where we know that t-shirt bought t-shirt bought or purchased are red so and the probability it was purchased from shop a is 6 by 7 so let the probability be r right so this would be r a and r b right so basically we will be finding probability that t-shirt was bought from this is better so probability that t-shirt was bought from shop a given that it was red right isn't that right this is a conditional probability here so we will be writing this as probability would be equal to a by r would be equal to probability of a into probability of r a divided by probability of a into probability of r a plus probability of b 
into probability of R B. Correct. So from this we will be getting. I am continuing this here, right? So I will be using. I will be substituting values. So one by two into this value. N C two upon n plus two c two divided by one by two into n c two n plus two upon c two plus half two into n plus two upon c two will be equal to six by seven. This is what they have given. So we can calculate. Uh, half will be cancelled out everywhere and c2 will be cancelled out so what we will be getting this because we will get common right this will be common out and we will be left over with let me can we erase this no so i'll zoom it a bit right so basically what we will get is right n c2 upon n c2 plus 2 equals to 6 by 7 right you can see it from here n c2 upon n c2 plus 2 equals to 6 by 7 perfect right so using this we can get 7 n c2 Equals to six n c two. This is not on that, right? Seven here, six n c two plus twelve. Uh, here after simplifying, we will get n c two equals to twelve. Uh, I'm not doing it right. Yeah, perfect. Equals to twelve. Yeah. And there is only one pro answer for this. This would be n equals to four, right? You can uh, use the formula and get the value n into n minus one equals to twelve, which would be n equals to four. You will also get the value minus three, but minus three is not possible for a real values right uh, real i mean positive value because the n stock cannot be negative basically common sense thank you